I love what it means to be the class of 2020. I love that this is the class of clear vision, 2020 eyesight. Hi, I'm Lisa Frankel, Vice Provost and Dean for Undergraduate Studies. The book we've chosen this year invites all of us to ask big questions about ourselves, our histories, our common and shared community. In general, the Common Reading Program is about sharing community by sharing a common book. And this book really invites us to ask what it means to come together. This book is a personal examination of uh, one black man's journey being black and male in the United States and him trying to translate that experience to his son. And in so doing, he does uh, this really great job of explaining you know, to the reader what it's like from an intimate perspective. I read this book with two of my good friends and we would talk like about every 30 pages we would get together and, and talk about it and I thought that was really helpful. I think if you have someone else who's wrestling with the same issues as, as you are at the same time, you'll have your the way you read it and your perspective on it and you'll be able to immediately get feedback from two other two or three other folks and I th so I think like doing some sort of like group or, or meeting someone else who's reading the book is, was really, really helpful for me, and I would, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. We have to consider uh, the perspectives of people that we don't share. So that goes in the favor of the student who says, this book is not for me. But also reminding them that we're in an academic institution where really the point of coming here is to grow beyond your current capacity. And part of that is dealing with intellectual material that is disarming, that is you find problematic, but being able to understand that and being able to explain why necessitates being engaged and involved in reading the book. The, the real crux, the problem with this book is it seems so approachable and easy, and so it's easy to finish it and think you're done with it, but I'd say my main tip for this book is to view it as an entry point rather than an exit point. View it as like the start to a very great body of um, rich literature that can kind of keep furthering your understanding rather than viewing it as the only thing you need to read to have an understanding of this. A lot of what we learn uh, in college happens outside of the classroom in interactions with other students who are not like us. So my advice would be to seek out people who are not from you know, the town you're from, who are not from the state that you're from, who, you know, have, you know, racial differences, religious differences, class differences. Like, embrace the diversity. Yes. Talk about it with your friends, with your family members. Just op like, have open conversation because I think it's important to, like, have discussion. Like, listen to others. Like, voice your opinion, but be respectful about your opinion as well. Um, yeah, definitely read this book. And I would encourage people to really just have an open mind when reading this book. Uh, if you feel some type of guilt, keep reading. If you feel some type of anger, keep reading. Uh, if you feel some type of sadness, keep reading. Uh, and just do what Coach is recommending that you do and acknowledge the murkier side that we have. ta Coates is inviting us to open our minds, to open doors, to open his book. So why not pick it up right now? Make it your own, put your mark in it, your name in its front cover, and take your first step into this learning community. Welcome, class of 2020. Welcome, ducks.